Speaker, the tech project would have contributed billions in revenue and created thousands of desperately needed jobs in Alberta and across Canada. Yes. But tech has withdrawn its application for the project, citing political unrest and public safety fears as shown by recent blockades. Tech knows that this Prime Minister lacks the courage to defend Canada's economic interests. Yes. Worse, energy and resource companies know that they are not wanted in Canada. How will Canada attract investment and the jobs that come with it when we have a Prime Minister that won't get the job done? Yes. The Honourable Minister of the Environment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This was Tech's decision. We respect their decision. I am sure it was a difficult one. The decision made by Tech Resources and the letter that was sent to me by the Tech CEO demonstrates clearly the need for all levels of government to be working together to deliver climate action and clean growth. We need to take action to reduce pollution and, in doing so, provide business certainty. In his letter, Mr. Lindsay said we need to move past jurisdictional and partisan fighting. We have been and will continue to work with all orders of government to make progress on addressing climate change and moving forward with a clean economy. Well, member for Aurora Oak Ridge's Richmond Hill. Mr. Speaker, the withdrawal of tech resources sends a devastating message that Canada is closed for business. Despite meeting all environmental requirements and being a model for engaging with Indigenous communities, tech resources can't see a path forward. The Prime Minister's weak leadership has allowed the erosion of the rule of law, leaving companies with no choice but to abandon Canada. Will the Prime Minister reverse course and create a country where critical national projects can be built, or has destroying these projects been his plan all along? The Honourable Minister of the Environment. Mr. Speaker, as I said before, this was Tech Resources' decision. We respect that decision. I am sure it was a difficult one to make. The Tech decision and the CEO's letter show the need for us to have serious climate plans that cuts pollution, incentivizes innovation, and ensures a healthy economy and investor confidence. Our government has a serious plan that includes a price on pollution. We're moving to exceed the Paris targets, and we will be working towards net zero by 2050. We need collaboration with the provinces to do that. We are going to be moving forward in collaboration with our provincial partners to ensure that we have both uh, climate, climate action and clean growth. Yes, yes.